Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Michael, once again, and today we are doing a Hydrosaur migration, and as you can see, right over here, the Hydrosaur Lake has dried up. So the entire herd, which includes of nine different species of Hydrosaurs, are now moving across this entire plain just to get to the body of water across to here. Now, normally this area is very wet, but over the past probably decade or so, the water amount here has become less and less. And though many may ask, why don't the dinosaurs go around this way? Well, there's rocky ravines in between, and there's no way to get up and down into them. The only way to get down is to go around here and through here. But here's where the water is. The dinosaurs must migrate to get there. Let's see which herbs will survive. that most of the hydrosaurs seem to be hanging out around this area. Only a few have began to walk this way, and seemingly Parasaur 3 is leading the charge. But followed closely behind by Iguanodon 1, 2, and a lower Titan 4. Every other dinosaur does not seem to be too concerned about it, as this is only the first day of the migration, though it most likely takes several days for these dinosaurs to start running to survive. Though as night falls, we are beginning to see that, di that the dinosaurs truly don't seem to mind, as it potentially might rain, the watering hole may just return. But most likely it won't we be returning in time. So now most of the herd seems to be moving forward. This is most likely good for any members that move forward. As you may have seen in the last video, any dinosaur that did, that, geez, that did not move forward with the rest of the herd did not end up surviving. So any dinosaur that does not end up following some of the lead creatures such as the Parasaurs or Mudda, Bodasauruses, Lower Titans and such, they most likely will not survive if the ones around here do not get a move on. They need to pick up the pace if they plan to survive. It was also almost breeding season, and due to the drying watering hole, the herd has to move no matter what it was. As when these eggs hatch, they will end up needing water sooner or later. So many of the females are leading the charge to go lay their eggs. The herd still does not seem too interested in moving along. This is concerning, as this is very important for the herd to continue moving, but as day two breaks, the herd seems to be much more interested in continuing. This is only because most of them are beginning to get thirsty. Though it seems that overnight, Allura Titan 2 has slowly been making her way toward the watering hole. She is only about a mile away. Let's hope she makes it. Now the rest of the herd seems to be losing interest once again. It seems that only a few are continuing straight ahead. And then it happens. Aloro Titan 4 spots the watering hole and now has marked it on her territory. Hopefully this will cause now what is left of the herd over here to make a quick move that way. As you can see, 
several of the herbivores are now beginning to run as dehydration is beginning to hit the best of them. Only the strongest, as many of us know, will survive. Action will take it. Though it seems that many will die, as many of them seem to be more interested in grazing on the grasses instead of moving forward, like nearly half of the herd has done. Hopefully they will catch on and will continue their journey. Though as it rears to the, to the afternoon, we might see most of these dinosaurs settle in groups to be protected from any nearby carnivores, which would most likely be Allosaurus and Carnotaurus. We have officially got our first dinosaur to the watering hole. Actually, our second is, however you say it, number five. And a lower titan number four have made it to the watering hole, now marking it as part of their territory. Hopefully, with more dinosaurs now figuring this out, a large migration will commence as even the furthest ones even as the ones in the furthest of the herd back of the herd will continue we shall see as the night begins to come it now seems that majority of the herd is beginning to move forward those who don't most likely will not survive, as we saw in the last episode, with the Dreadnoughtus Mementosaurus and the male Diplodocus. They did not make it in time, as they decided to stick back, not knowing what to do. Though in this one, there's so many more dinosaurs that one dinosaur continuously walking one direction will most likely cause a domino effect, causing most of the herd to follow along. It seems that more dinosaurs are now beginning to reach the watering hole. The many right now are taking this time to rest up so that they can continue in the night. Though it seems that there will be much more survivors than normal, you can't say that for everyone, as several of these guys in the back will not be making it. You can see some of them will soon be thirsty by tomorrow. Tomorrow will be day three of this migration. And by that day, most of these dinosaurs will either be moving or be dead. Though, now it seems that several that were hanging around in the back have began to move. Though most have continued to sit around. It seems that most of the dinosaurs in the back are actually Corythosaurs. Almost the entire group of Corythosaurs seem to be hanging around, not moving forward. There were six originally, but one seems to be missing. Though most likely, they have continued to move forward. It now seems that either the dinosaurs that were in the back have slowly made it to the middle, dinosaurs that were in the middle have now made it towards the front. Let's see if everyone can survive. As it, as it is now turning to the afternoon of day three, I mean day two, geez. We may now see some of these dinosaurs begin to die from dehydration. Because they're not used to droughts like this. Though it still seems that even now, most of the dinosaurs around here will be paying attention to what's happening toward the front, even though most of their other herd members have in fact made it there. Though several of the species have actually truly made it, as we can see, at least a dozen or so dinosaur hydrosaurs have in fact made it to the watering hole, and there are more coming along. Though it still seems that several dinosaurs in the back still don't and continuing to move forward. 
though we will soon see a change as dehydration begins to hit them. As we can see, the Corythosaurus have now began to move out toward the watering hole. No, we're not sure if any of them, as it's a bit late. If they do not move fast enough, they most likely will die of dehydration before they'll even get to see the watering hole or lay their eggs. As we can see, mostly Amontosaurs are now hanging around, as they're either taking this time to sleep or walk the opposite way. Though we can see that several of them aren't continuing to make a move forward to try and get there in time. It seems that at least two of every single species will make it. The only exception to that will most likely be, well, the Corythosaurus, as seemingly only one has made it so far. But as we can now see, we can see Mudabutasaurus too, making a sprint for the watering hole. As he gets to feel the effects of dehydration. If only every dinosaur ran like him, then none of them would die. But as we can still see, most have decided to stay toward the back, while those who are willing to continue are going to survive. But we are beginning to see several dinosaurs sprinting for the water, though several are simply still walking along toward the back of the watering hole area. Some of the dinosaurs, such as Allura Titan and Aronosaurus, have barely moved from the starting point, which was basically here, which means they're not ready to leave, but by the time they are, they won't. Though it does seem that more dinosaurs are beginning to have a drive to continue, as more and more dinosaurs are are continuing to make it to the watering hole. As you can see, every dinosaur will begin to get thirsty and then dehydrated. Let's hope they can make it. Every single dinosaur that remains back here either is not thirsty yet or is just about to become thirsty. Let's hope that they can all make it and survive this. It now seems that several more dinosaurs are continuing their move toward the end point. Though it is a small group of dinosaurs, it is a good start for the dinosaurs that are hanging around in the back. Though as these three to four dinosaurs continue their move forward, slowly the rest of the herd is slowly but surely making their way forward. Soon, the dinosaurs begin to run, as the watering hole and the rest of the herd is now in sight. Though several of these herd members definitely will not be making it, as they continue to hang around in the back and will soon all die of dehydration if they do not get a move on. Hopefully, though, they are smart enough and will slowly continue their journey. So as we can see toward the watering hole, several of the dinosaurs that have already made it and gotten their fair share of drink have begun to walk back, seemingly kind of smart to try and lead more herd members back toward them, as they already know the route. Though. Several of these dinosaurs are beginning to walk back to bring their herd members back. As we can see, one of the first Corythosaurus has now made it to the watering hole. What if we continue to go 
further on back, we will see that there are still plenty of Edmontosaurs, Aronosaurs, Parasaurolophuses, and Corythosaurs that are simply hanging in the back instead of willing to move forward. Hopefully these dinosaurs will see that the water hole is not going to return today or anytime soon. And that they'll have to return. Seemingly it seems that several dinosaurs have now figured that out and are now moving closer to the watering. Some of them use this time for a good rest as during the day it will be nearly 90 degrees. Which is very hot considering the normal yearly temperature which is normally 80s the low 80s to mid 80s. As you can see though, the moving herd members are all thirsty and are slowly dying due to dehydration. Though the members in the back still refuse to move, it now begins to rain on the night of day three. Some of these are would be hoping that this brings back the old watering hole, but which we all know will not. All that will most likely happen is a puddle or two throughout this area. That at best, if it rains for a long time. It is now early morning of day three, and several of the dinosaurs begin to run toward the watering hole due to dehydration. More herd members continue to walk back toward the herd to try and lead them this way. But at this point, any remaining herd member will most likely die before they make it there. But we will keep an eye on them. Let's just hope that they all make it. Though it does still seem that many are still not interested in moving forward. Though there has been lots of progress, as nothing is here anymore. All, the entire herd has moved from here to basically the watering hole, except for members. So most of these members will most likely die to dehydration. Though even though most of them are dying, some of them still continue to make their way toward the rest of the herd. At this point, any dinosaurs that do not continue their journey will end up dying of dehydration. And though it won't be too many members, Several members will most likely die before they make it there. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now let's go back to the front of the herd. As we can see, over 90% of the herd has now made it here succe successfully without dying. With an occasional encounter with a small carnivore, such as Velociraptor or Compsognathus. Several of the Alloro Titans and other herd members have began to move down here to eat. As I was saying earlier, the only way to truly get in here is to go around here and go down through here. Now let's go back to the end of the herd. It still seems that several of the Corythosaurs still don't seem to care at all about what's happening. They continuously walk backwards, not realizing that the rest of the herd has made it. Most likely, the members here are OGs and they have lived here for years and are not willing to leave their home until they die. Though the rest of the herd was in fact willing to leave, it turns out that only Corythosaur 2 was willing to stay behind. The entire rest of the herd has continued to move through. As whatever remnants of the herd from the beginning make it here, we see that these members of the herd are true survivors, and those who unfortunately did not make it, <coughs> Crypt Source 2. 
are not true survivors, though they tried to give it their best. Alrighty, so that will be it for today's video. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Alright, and you know what? Uh, I mean, we all probably know that Clippus War 2 is going to die, so we'll just end it here. Alright, so see you guys later, and don't forget, go check out the channel and hit that bell. You can always unsubscribe, and it's free. Peace.